aujourd'hui. Je suis I want to be a I want to save the <laughs> Actress. From a very young age and throughout our lives, our education, our experiences shape our future. But can you really get to be what you hope to be? Suffragette movements in the 19th and 20th centuries across America, to the UK and in Russia, were the beginnings of women's fight for equality. But the struggle has been a hard one. Girls and women all over the world suffer sexual harassment. They are raped, they are trafficked, they are tortured, they are denied access to education, and they are not told that they can have both a successful family and professional life. Throughout the years, much has changed. We see more and more women in higher education. We see more and more women in top jobs. But in the workplace, are men and women really equal? Let's find out. Bonjour. Allez, venez. Alors, ici, vous allez emballer le chocolat. Vous allez mettre le chocolat dans la pochette, comme je le fais, jusqu'à la fin, et à la fin, on va le mettre ici. Go. The World Economic Forum's Global Gender Gap Index tracks gender disparity. It looks at four key areas, health, education, the economy, and politics. When it comes to health and education, there's almost parity. But it's a different story when we look at the economy and politics. I mean, just look at the 2015 Forbes list of the most powerful people on the planet. Only nine of them are women. On average, women can earn up to 16% less than men, and once in the workplace, they can face far more social discrimination. But looking around this shop floor, it would seem that men and women are pretty equal. Well, how about if we try a different kind of job? Good morning, Mirab. Good to meet you. I'm Mark Cunningham. I'm one of the partners here. Figures show that women account for 1.7 billion of the global labor workforce and make up 75% of all skilled employees. But you see, when it comes to leadership roles, that figure doesn't actually translate. Only 28% of women occupy the top spots in companies. Women also have an added pressure, pregnancy. Legislation to fight inequality is out there. The principle of equal pay was enshrined in the 1957 EU treaty. But despite that, progress on gender inequality has bumped along at a glacial speed. Analysts say the gap between men and women can't be closed till 2133. The European Commission has unveiled an equality roadmap for the future. But have yet to publish any concrete solutions. The European Parliament is pushing for legislative change. We have seen in the beginning of the mandate the withdrawal of the maternity leave directive, which was the first step backwards. And now what we are seeing is the postponement of the women on boards directive. What we would need from the Commission is much more ambition and a much clearer voice and confidence in the fact that the European Union is responsible for gender equality. If women stand together, there is hope for a better future. This struggle is not over. Discrimination based on gender can be wiped out. Who's listening?